Hello everybody and welcome to my latest video. This time around we are going to do a net install of Debian on Proxmox and this is going to serve as the foundation for some future videos. Let's get started. Okay, here we are on debian.org slash cd slash net inst and I will include this in the description. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the stable release under net install CD image. And we're going to right click on AMD 64. We're going to copy that link and then we are going to switch over to our Proxmox host. Here on Proxmox, we're in our storage under ISO images and we're going to say download from URL. We'll paste in the URL, query the URL and download. All right, so we've got our ISO image downloaded and available in Proxmox. So we're going to come over here to the left hand side. We're going to right click on our Proxmox node name and we're going to say create VM. And for this VM, we're going to call it Docker demo one. The OS, we are going to select Debian net install. For system, we're going to leave the defaults. We're going to check QEMU agent. Disks, 32 gigs is fine for starting. CPU, we're going to give it four cores. And memory, we're going to give it four gigs of RAM. Network is defaults. And we're going to start after it's created. Okay, so we've likely all seen this process before but we're going to run through it graphical install english us american english For the host name, we're going to call it docker demo one. Continue, continue, and assign root password. Continue. And we're going to create a separate user. All right, time zone Eastern is fine for me. And we're going to use guided for this particular machine. That's fine. All files in the home. And finish. Yes. Package manager, do you wish to scan more media? No, so we'll continue. 
and select the mirror, so US, and we'll just use the official one. No proxy. Uh, popularity contest, we're going to say no. Okay, software selection. We are going to take off Debian desktop environment and we are going to add SSH server. Pretty minimal system, but this will make for a quick install and then we will add what we want on later. Continue. Okay, install Grub Bootloader, yes. And we're gonna install it on our main disk. All right, we've reached the end of the installation and we are going to choose continue to reboot. And we can log in with root. And we are in our new system. So the first thing we want to do is find out our IP address. So IP space A. And we are on 151. We'll jump over to our Mac terminal now and we will connect via SSH. And we are in. Uh, we don't have HTOP and we don't have NeoFetch. We're gonna to change to the root user and we'll start running updates. All right, so we've got our updates done and we'll get HTOP and NeoFetch installed. run NeoFetch, you can see we're running Debian 12 Bookworm, and our uptime is three minutes. And if we run HTOP, you can see we've got our four cores, and out of four gigs of RAM, we are using about 98 megabytes. And that is our run through the install of our base Debian server operating system with SSH, our updates, and adding HTOP and NeoFetch. Stay tuned for further videos, and we will start building some projects upon this base. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.